The most recent research on marriage has proved this is one of the main things that makes good marriages is empathy. The word empathy means understanding and entering into another person's feelings. When we're dating, we're extremely empathetic. I remember being so careful in every word that I spoke because I wanted everything I said to make her feel good and make her like me. That's called empathy. I, I'm, I'm being very careful how I'm making you feel. I'm being very careful and I'm being very sensitive to everything that's going on and how it could make you feel. And that's a choice. And I stopped choosing to care once I had her relationship secured and I began to take her for granted and I began to verbally abuse her. I began to neglect her. I began to treat her badly and I didn't care. I didn't care. And when she complained to me about the way that I talked to her and the way I treated her, I didn't care. And that was a choice. And the day that our marriage almost broke up, God got to my heart finally. And Karen was not the problem, I was the problem. So nothing changed in my emotions, but I made the choice to be empathetic. Listen to me, you have two components to your soul, your will and your emotions. And one of the most critical decisions in your life is for your will to rule over your emotions and not let your emotions rule over your will. The Bible calls people who let their emotions rule over their will, weak-willed people. A million times in life, a million times in your life, you're gonna feel like doing something you shouldn't do. And your will has to be over your emotions saying, you can't say that to them. You can't do that. You've gotta be a responsible person. You've got, you've got to subject your feelings under a responsible will, okay? A million times in life, you're gonna need to do something you don't feel like doing. And your will has to be in control. So your will says, emotions, you're gonna care, I don't care how you're feeling. You're gonna care. And I woke up that morning, when Karen and I were on the brink of divorce, I woke up that morning and I made the decision to care. Isn't it great that we can do that? It's not luck, it's not fate. It's not chemistry, it's choice. And my soulmate was sitting right there, hurting. And I didn't care the day before. And that day I woke up and I decided, I'm turning my heart back to Karen. And here's the way empathy thinks. Here's the way empathy thinks. I wonder what it would be like to be married to me. And when I woke up that day and I decided to care, I thought to myself, I wouldn't want to be married to me and sitting in a house all by myself, all day long, taking care of kids, and then to have me walk in the door and not wanna talk and not wanna participate in the family and not wanna open my heart up and not meet any of my needs. What a terrible thing to be married to me. That's, that's the way empathy thinks. Empathy puts itself into another person's feelings and cares, and it's a choice. And the first time you do it, it's instinctive. When you're dating a person, it's instinctive. The second time you do it, it's intentional. I'm not doing it because of a feeling. I'm doing it because I choose you as my soulmate. I'm choosing you as my soulmate. And I'm choosing to care about you. Your soulmate is a person who cares. They care about you. They're a person who's tuned in. That's what we dream about, is being married to a person who cares about us, who's sensitive to us. That's a choice. It's called empathy.